All righty, Thursday, June 27th, taking a look at NQ here for a session recap. This will probably be a pretty quick one simply because we don't have any major structure updates to report. The probable range that we have been discussing since Friday's session recap almost an entire week ago has played out pretty nicely. Uh, as always, no crystal ball or anything like that, folks. We're just looking at probabilities within the context of what has recently happened and then kind of looking ahead at the economic calendar to get a sense of what the most likely scenario is. Now, Friday, the most likely scenario for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was continued range trading, which we definitely saw on ES and Q. A little bit of variance there. And then with the expectation that Thursday... Friday, we may see the breakout. Now, today we're looking for that potential breakout, that move versus 950, which was the main pivot, has been the main pivot for past week or so now. Wanted to see if buyers could defend this area and potentially break out up through that 080, 2080, which is that near-term resistance area right through here. So we could see there was definitely an attempt. An attempt was made there, but Still some decent sellers up in this area. So price just rolls over, retest that 950 area almost perfectly to the tick. Look at that 30-minute hammer candle, right? Right there where you'd want to see it, right at the pivot, right at that near-term volume point of control. And price is trading back up into that 75 area, that 80 area, which is, again, this near-term resistance zone. So... Levels continue to be quite accurate. Analysis has been spot on. What we really want to see here now for tomorrow is whether buyers can actually trigger this breakout with another economic data print tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. So main focus will continue to be, if we're looking at downside, looking for some potential bounces versus support. It's going to be that 950 pivot right down here right or potential breakout up through this near-term area of resistance up through potentially today's high so no no real changes from what we've been doing for the past week or so as far as the levels are concerned no real updates there from a structural standpoint not a lot to really talk about we do have you know that fresh high made right through there but I'm not really considering that all that significant. That's just like a little expansion, a little look above the level, right? Here's our key pivot, continues to hold as support. Near-term volume point of control right through here. Pretty close to that pivot. If we zoom out a bit, right, we can see the significance of this 950 area. So range trading continues, both ES and NQ. Same levels on watch for tomorrow morning. It was a pretty nice day. Some really good action this morning on NQ. Look at the pullback here, right? It just goes to show you really don't need to chase these big vertical moves like this. Hopefully no one got caught in this move, trying to chase it up into the highs or trying to short or something like that. Just wait for the setup, wait for that layup pullback setup to our trader framework right there into that prior day high phenomenal really really nice then as price starts to build out that intraday structure you get good action versus that downside level of interest nice higher low nice market structure type of play there we'll be talking more about that in the trading mentorship group here shortly this afternoon but overall some some good action today on nq let's jump over to es so ES, the range is definitely more defined, more clearly defined. Look at this. All right, 555 by 5510. Pretty straightforward. We came into today wanting to see how price would trade versus 5532. And the significance of that level is it is the, the near-term range volume point of control. Right, so we treat that as like a mid-range pivot. Not the best opportunity because the best opportunities are near the edges of the range, but still a worthwhile level if we actually see a setup materialize there that we can work with. That's exactly what we saw, 55.32 holding as support 
for the duration of the session. Let's jump into the five minute regular trading hours chart here. You can see that test right through, right through there. Really nice. And again here ahead of the close, another test. Good long opportunities or if you want to short the edge of the range, good setup up here to do so, right? Versus that 55, 55 near term resistance area. And so as far as the structure, no update, right? Still within the near term range here, nothing to update. Sideways range continues. The levels we have been watching continue to stay on watch with no update there. Main focus tomorrow is pretty much identical to what we've been doing all week. How does price trade versus the near term range volume point of control, that 5532 level of interest, and how does price trade versus the edges of the range? So that's pretty much it. We'll see if we get that breakout tomorrow, but if not, the range has been, has provided some really strong opportunities. I know a lot of traders hate this kind of action, but if you just prepare for it and know what to look for, it can be incredibly lucrative. So hope everyone had a profitable sesh. If you have questions about anything, feel free to shoot me a DM. Otherwise I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a good afternoon.